Hi everyone. In this video we're going to look at the various methods for cloning, copying and moving elements in Avada Live. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. In Avada Live, to make it easier for you to copy and move your page content around, we have a range of clone, copy and move functions. Let's start with cloning. There are two ways to clone objects in Avada Live. The first one is to use the built-in right-click functionality. This is available in both the back-end and front-end builders. Simply right-click over your desired container, column, or element. This brings up a contextual menu, and clone is one of the options available. Cloning an object is making a duplicate copy of it, whether it is a container, a column, or an element. When you clone it, the cloned object is placed immediately after the original object. This is the main difference between cloning and copying. With copying, the object is held in memory on the clipboard, but with cloning, it is simply duplicated and inserted into the page. With parent and child items, it should be noted that you can clone either the child by itself, or the parent, which includes all the children. If I hover over the child item and right-click, you can see it's cloning the content box, but if I right-click on the parent element controls, it says content boxes, and so if I choose clone here, you can see it clones the entire element. The second way to clone an object is to choose clone from the container column or element controls. When you hover over an element control, you will see a range of icons. One of these is the clone icon. If I simply click that icon, the object is again cloned and inserted immediately after the item cloned. Let's now look at copying. Copying an object is to copy the underlying code and hold it in memory on the clipboard. Copying is only accessible from the right click function. When you copy a container, column or element, you are essentially copying the code to the clipboard. If you then right click on a different part of the page, you can paste the copied object into a new part of the page directly in Avada Builder. It's the equivalent of cloning an object and then dragging it to a new place on the page. Depending on what you copy, and where you try to place it, you will get different options when you right click. For example, if I copy a column, I don't get a paste option if I right click on an element, as I can't paste a column inside another column. But if I right click on a column, I can paste before or after that column. And if I right click on a container, I can paste my column at the start or the end of that container content. And because the code is on the clipboard, you can also paste it into the page in text view in the WordPress editor, or anywhere else you can paste code. For more details on this feature, please see our How to Use the Avada Builder Right Click Feature video, linked below. You can also just move objects in Avada. Let's have a look at another page. As you can see, there is a drag icon on the element control bar, but basically any time you have moused over the control bar, you can begin to drag the object you are hovering over and guidelines will appear showing you where you can drop it as you drag it around the screen. If you want to see all possible drop areas, there is an option in the Builder Preferences to show droppable areas while dragging. What you need to be aware of with moving items is that you can't move anything just anywhere. For example, you can't drag a container into a column or element, so not every place you try to move objects will work. Consider what you're trying to move carefully and you'll have much more success. You can also hover over the live controls of any specific element and choose the drag option. This is sometimes more useful for selecting specific elements that are in amongst many others. For this example, I will move this column to the right of the column next to it. As I move it into position, you can see a blue line appear to the right of the right column, which lets me know I can place the column there. I just let go at this point and the column has been moved. OK. This concludes our video on cloning, copying and moving elements in Avada Live. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.